Hello everyone and welcome to today's video on Scrum Framework at Simply Learn. In this video, we will explore the fundamentals of Scrum Framework for an agile methodology, which is widely used in project management, particularly in software development. Scrum is all about collaboration, adaptability, and delivering value in short iterative cycles. Let's dive in and understand its key concepts, roles, ceremonies, and artifacts that make it so effective for teams aiming to build up high quality products efficiently. But before we move on, I request you guys that do not forget to hit the subscribe button and click the bell icon for further updates. So here's the agenda for our today's session. We are going to start our session with an introduction to what is Scrum process. Then we will discuss about what are Scrum artifacts. Moving ahead, we will discuss about benefits of Scrum methodology. Then we will deep dive into Scrum and Agile relationship. Moving ahead, we will also learn about Scrum ceremonies or events. Then we will also discuss Scrum pillars and values. And at the end of the session, we will discuss three essential roles for Scrum process and scaling Scrum to multiple teams. So guys, let's try to understand what is Scrum framework. But before that, there is a small story. So guys, consider a big company like Rockstar, which is a gaming company, and they have got a target project to make a game like GTA 5. Now, in order to complete the project, they are stuck in the midway because they have to update changes in the middle and which kind of made their work kind of a little bit messy. Now, a team member called Alex comes up with an idea to implement Scrum Framework. So guys, what's basically a Scrum Framework? The Scrum Framework is an agile project management methodology which is primarily used in software development, but it is applicable to various industries. It operates on the principle of iterative and incremental progress, aiming to deliver high value products efficiently. At its core, Scrum revolves around small, self-organizing teams working in short time frame called sprints, typically lasting two to four weeks. So guys, overall Scrum framework provides a structured yet flexible approach to project management, allowing teams to respond to change and deliver high quality products incrementally. And this is how the company made a very fantastic game by implementing the Scrum framework. Now let us try to understand what are the events in Scrum? The first one is daily Scrum. It refers to the regular conduction of meetings. The motto of the daily Scrum is to analyze the progress of previous day work and accommodate the backlog in a tight schedule without causing the overburden. Additionally, the senior managers manage the upcoming planned work accordingly. The meeting involves the participation of developers, product owners, or Scrum masters and lasts for a maximum of 15 minutes. Now, next one we have all over here is a Sprint. Sprint is a short cycle overlooking the development of a product in a specified period. It is referred to as the head of Scrum and comprises planning, daily Scrum meeting, progress, review, and backlog. Next one we have is Sprint planning meeting. It involves the participation of each individual in Scrum time. The meeting can expect to run for eight hours for a month long sprint while the time varies for different time spans. The main objective of the meeting are to establish the sprint goal and define the goal and process to achieve the task. Third one we have all over here is sprint review. Now, team members practicing Scrum framework meet with the stakeholders for feedback. The expected time for sprint review is for four hours and four week sprint. However, it also changes based on the sprint time frame. Next one we have all over here is Sprint Retrospective. Again, involving the participation of each member, the ideal time is three hours. It focused on understanding weaknesses and strength of the team and its action. Now moving ahead, let us discuss about what are Scrum artifacts. So guys, in Scrum, artifacts are the tangible items or documents created and maintained throughout the project to provide transparency, track progress, and support decision making. These artifacts serve as valuable tools for communication and collaboration within Scrum team and with stakeholders. The primary Scrum artifacts include, the first one we have is product backlog, which is a prioritized list of all the features, enhancements, bug fixes, and other work items that need to be completed for the product. 
It is managed by the product owner and represents the requirement and vision of the product. Next one we have is a Sprint Backlog. It is a subset of product backlog that contains the list of users, tasks, stories or backlog items that the development team has committed to completing during the specific sprint. It is owned by the development team and guides their work for the duration of the sprint. Third one we have all over here is increment. The sum of all the completed and potentially shippable backlog items at the end of each sprint. It represents the tangible progress made by the development team during the sprint and serves as a measure of product's development status. These artifacts provide a clear understanding of the work to be done, track progress towards the project goals and ensure alignment with the team and with the stakeholders throughout the project lifecycle. Now finally we have the burn down chart. So guys the burn down chart tells how we have progressed till now and what are the obstacles we have faced and how our product development has been achieved or what is the status. So guys I hope so you would have got a brief idea regarding scrum artifacts. Now let us move forward and try to understand scrum and agile. Basically agile is a mindset or a philosophy that emphasizes the iterative development collaboration, flexibility, and customer feedback. It prioritizes delivering valuable software frequently and adapting to change rather than following a rigid plan. Where on other hand, we have Scrum, which is a specific agile framework for managing complex projects commonly used in software development. It provides a structured approach to agile principles by defining roles, events, artifacts, and rules that team follow to deliver increments of valuable product. Now here are some of the key points illustrating the relationship between Scrum and Agile. First one is Framework versus Philosophy. Agile is a set of guiding principles while Scrum is a concrete framework that operationalizes those principles into specific practices and rules. Second one we have Iterative and Incremental Development. Both Agile and Scrum promote Iterative and Incremental Development with a focus on delivering working software in short cycles. Third one we have is customer collaboration. Both Agile and Scrum emphasizes close collaboration with stakeholders, including customers to gather feedback and adapt the product to changing needs. Finally, we have the self-organizing teams. Both Agile and Scrum advocate for self-organizing teams that are empowered to make decisions and adapt their process to maximize productivity and value delivery. I hope so, you would have got a brief idea regarding Scrum and Agile relationship. So in summary, Scrum is a specific implementation of Agile principles, providing structured framework for managing complex projects, particularly in the realm of software development. While Agile sets guiding philosophy, Scrum offers concrete practices and roles to help team effectively and apply Agile principles in their work. Now let us move on and discuss some of the benefits of Scrum methodology. The first one that we have all over here is flexibility. Second one we have is transparency. Third one we have the risk mitigation. And fourth one we have improved collaboration. Fifth one is there is a faster time to market. So these are some of the benefits of Scrum methodology. Now let's move on and discuss some of the pillars and values for Scrum. So guys, Scrum as an agile framework is built upon a set of values and pillars that guides its implementation. These values and pillars serves as the foundation for Scrum teams to collaborate effectively, deliver high quality products and adapt to change. Let's explore each one of them one by one. The first one that we have all over here is commitment. Scrum teams are committed to achieving their goals and delivering value to the customer. The commitment involves dedicating themselves to the work agreed upon in the sprint and doing their best to meet the sprint goal. Second one is focus. Scrum teams maintain focus on the work at hand and strive to avoid distraction by concentrating on the most important tasks and priorities. Teams can deliver valuable increments of work consistently. And the third one is openness. Transparency and openness are essential in Scrum. Team members are encouraged to share information, challenges and progress openly with each other and with stakeholder. This fosters trust, collaboration and effective problem solving. Now let us move on and discuss some of the pillars for Scrum. The first one that we have all over here is transparency. 
Transparency is one of the core pillars of Scrum. It involves making all the aspects of work visible, including progress, impediments, and risk. By maintaining transparency, Scrum teams and stakeholders can make informed decisions and collaborate effectively. Next one is inspection. Inspection refers to the regular assessment and evaluation of the product and processes. Scrum teams inspect their work and progress continuously, looking for opportunities to improve quality, identify issues, and adapt to changing requirements. Third one is adaptation. Adaptation is the ability to adjust course based on the insights gained from inspection. Scrum teams embrace change and use feedback to make informed decision about the product and processes. This flexibility enables them to respond, repeat, this flexibility enables them to respond quickly to new information and deliver greater value. By adhering to these values and pillars, Scrum teams create framework for collaboration, continuous improvement, and successful delivery of products in complex environments. So guys, that was all for today's video. I hope so, you would have got a brief idea regarding what is Scrum Framework. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.